you know, I did the research for a long time and I wrote scenes here and there and so I had bits and pieces, but I didn't, I really did years worth of research before I ever started trying to construct it into a, a book and that was a several year long process once I started and, you know, it's these, it's three narratives braided together, it jumps around in time, um, back and forth between the three different narratives and I realized that I needed to do that in part once I realized I had to be in the book because if I had told it chronologically, it would have just been this historic story of Henrietta, and then the cells would have been taken, and then her children would have been used in research, and then like I would appear in the final third of the book, and then Deborah would become the main character, and it would just, it sort of would have been all a, a little off um, in terms of that character balance. But also that really once you, if you see the story of, of her family, particularly Deborah, at the same time that you're learning about the cells, I realized that that would, the cells would take on a very different weight. If, you watch the way that her daughter was responding to them. So I knew I had to do this weaving thing and I spent, I had index cards, I had sort of mapped out the whole book with three different colors of index cards, one for each narrative, and I had this huge wall where I would tack them up and move them around and I was in West Virginia where a friend of mine had a house and they have a, there's a small local bookseller there and I just went in and I said, find me every book, every novel you can find that has multiple characters, multiple time periods and it jumps around. And so she just started ordering me this flood of books. And interestingly, the one that was the most useful early on was Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. <laughs> because it, it, it does exactly that. It has these multiple time periods. And one of them is a younger woman talking to another woman about her past. And then there is the actual past. And then within it, there are these news stories that are just sort of the facts of what was going on at the time. And then, Initially, I thought, well, I could do the story of me and Deborah, the story of Henrietta, and then I actually thought I would write little news stories for the science, and I would have, like, news clippings instead of... I think that was mostly me just not being able to imagine how I could possibly put this, <laughs> the science into some kind of narrative. And then, interestingly, I just... At a certain point, I started watching movies that had a similar structure, so I knew that I was going to do the jumping around, and it turns out that a lot of movies are structured like that, and. The movie Hurricane, about Hurricane Carter the boxer, that is the stru structure of my book and it has similar three different narratives and they are in some ways kind of similar stories. I was watching it one day just by coincidence and I just went, that's my book. Oh my god, like that's my book. And I kept saying, I was watching it with my boyfriend, like this is what, exactly what I want my book to be. He was like, shut up. And, and he's an actor so he was like, storyboard it, you know, actually do it and see what they did. And so I did, I spent several days pressing play and pause and play and pause and I storyboarded the whole movie of Hurricane on the same three colored index card system that I had with my book and then I literally just laid my book on top of it to see what would happen in the same color coding. And through that I realized I was jumping around, I was taking too long, I had these long chapters and really part of what worked with the structure of the movie was that it happened really fast. So I had written all three of the narratives and then went with my kind of Hurricane slash fried green tomatoes <laughs> structure idea and actually braided them on the computer and then you re just sat down and printed out and read it beginning to end and then was like oh no this has to move there and this has to move there. so then a lot of rearranging happened in the various drafts um, and I rewrote the book completely beginning to end probably five times before I even turned it in and then another many times after that to my editor's dismay so really it was it was a combination of fiction and movies that did it.